Hi, my name is Margaret Nakka and I come from the Nome area. I was born in Nome. My ancestry originates with my grandfather who was in Nupiak in an island off of Nome. My grandfather was in Nupiak and that's where I get my Nupiak ancestry. My grandmother was Nupiak and so I'm also Nupiak. I said, I thank you for learning about our people who have lived on this land for a long time. And our men being great hunters, they provided many different kinds of furs. As this coat reveals, And it has many different kinds of furs. And this brown right here is beaver. The main body of the coat is muskrat. Is what? Muskrat. Muskrat. Okay. Yeah. And on the rough, a sunshine rough they call it, we have wolf, wolverine, and muskrat. We have tassels. Many of them to express our appreciation to the men for having caught all these wonderful animals to decorate our coats with. And you see a huge long strand here, huge long strand here of wolverine with wolf tips. And so this coat is recognizing our hunter providers in our families and they all work together to provide food and with the skins and furs the women make the clothing and as you see this is a very fancy coat and it's used for special occasions celebrations and many different ceremonies within the villages The beaded border down here, you see flowers. I love flowers. I grew up on the tundra where there are many different colors of flowers. And there was a friend of mine from Seattle, an Indian lady. She wanted baleen. Baleen comes from the mouth of the big bowhead whale. It's their sifting system for their food, which is krill and plankton from the uh, Bering Sea, the Chukchi Sea, and the Arctic Ocean. And today our native uh, Inupiaq people still hunt the big black bowhead whale, which is very nutritious for us and very healthy with the uh, skin, which is one of our favorite parts, and the oil, and the meat, and the bones used for different parts of the subterranean homes that would hold up the dirt and make it solid for a what? And so she wanted baleen and my family, my father-in-law had caught a bowhead quail and it just so happened we had many, many uh, pieces of baleen which the longest sometimes can get up to 16 to 18 feet tall. Yeah, inside the huge whale's mouth and the whales can get up to 60 feet long and so I told her I do have baleen and I told her I would like a beaded border for my coat and so we traded she got the baleen which I got from my family and she wove this beaded border which I placed on this coat so there and in the butterflies? And the butterflies. Okay, let's see. Oh, there they are. Yeah, the butterflies I placed here because the uh, borderline was just a little short on the coat. So I put the butterflies there and on the shoulders. There they are. So if you'd like, I can put it on. Oh, and let me see the inside too. The, uh... Oh, the, the inside, right. Yeah. That's the important part. 
Each part of these furs were hunted by the men and the women hand softened them like this, section by section. And when it was soft enough to sew, you see these stitches? There you go. It's put together like a puzzle so that when you look at it on the outside, it's very, very well put together in panels and with the beaver and the wolverine as the uh, border on the bottom below the uh, flowers. You had a few small uh, patches in there too that look, you can't tell from the other side. Right, those little patches. Let's find the little patch. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's a little patch? Yeah, there's a couple here, but there's tinier ones somewhere. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at that tiniest patch! And then when you flip it over on the other side, you can't tell where it is. It just blends right in. The way we place patches on furs, the fur has to be going in the same direction, and it has to be the same color. So it blends right in. So you gonna put it on? Oh yeah. Would you like the hood up? Yeah. Least, oh okay. Looks like you're doing your So there you go. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Even the back. Oh, that's beautiful.